Hello there everyone and welcome back to 1429. So I've been hard at work translating the French language and trying to um, ascertain how is how I'm supposed to complete this. And so I think I have set it up now so I'm pretty sure what to do. So I went in Maybe I actually said this last time, but I went in and I talked with the monk. I basically said something along the line that I was interested in old scribe scribey things and somehow he let me through. I clicked some on that path. Anyways, I got in there um, and I was looking around and suddenly it updated when I was looking at the wall. We can actually go in and take a look at it. Let's see if we can't. Maybe we should wait until it's actually daytime. It's weird going around, going, knocking at the door at the monastery in the late night. Oh, I want to just take a look at your wall, see? Oh. Have you seen him in battle? Who? You know what? Stop picking fights with each other. Oh, yeah. Uh, I got uh, loads of... Uh, new uh, companions or quite a few of them I think I still have some locked away in some castle somewhere that we've lost but I've got quite a few new ones that add on with different skills so that's good this guy is gonna be uh, the medic I think uh, let's see where we have him right now he's not actually the medic but he is he looks sort of like the medic character, doesn't he? He just has a hat, he's got high intelligence. Maybe that's a bad thing, actually. Who do we have right now? Godfrey de Cherbourg is currently uh, the medic. Let's take a look at your skills. Well, you know what? We can have two. You can never have too many, I think. Right, let's go to the monastery and take a look at this wall. Damn. I didn't notice that. But donk a donk. Mm. Oh, oh. That looks kind of <laughs> strange <laughs> when it goes like that. Mmm. <laughs> but donk a donk. Some French. But donk a donk. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Right, so he's been enough looking at the uh, stuff. Oh, there you are, you. I don't know about these French people. There's like, <laughs> it's. I don't know if he's high or if he's got some smirky little plan going. He's bold, so he might be an evil genius, who knows. So. Uh, I managed to talk with him and get through, so yes, we're going in. Boom. Way. It took me quite a while and I had to use Google Translate to translate some of it. Because uh, you can, like, do the trial and error stuff, but, yeah. Uh, there's a monk here, I've talked with him. I didn't bother translating this part, I think. No, he just... some crap. I, he's just here to guard, so I don't, I don't know, use the papers as toilet paper or something. Anyways, I walked up here, it updated, and apparently this crest is what is important. Apparently this is really strange to have this kind of crest in a monastery. Well, it is sort of strange, because it is a monastery, and this is clearly some sort of heraldic thing of a jiggy and a night dudrino marching about with I'm not entirely that's a spear, yeah. It sort of curves down here. Ah oh, it's a lance then he holds. Hmm. And then something there. He's got a sword on either side of him. And he's got a crown. Apparently that links somehow. So Let's go back out. Crap, no, I don't want 
that notes. So an unlikely path. It seems that the painted coat of arms corresponds with that of the Lord of Reims of Provence. Now, Reims is this town. And the province of Provence, I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, French people, is this area right here. Neither of which is correct for this quest. So both of these area throws, both of those things throws you, first of all, they're complete opposite ends of France here. Plus there's no place here called Reims. And uh, this is not Provence, this is Brittany. Which it even, you know, they've even got the faction of Brittany there. Both of which throws you completely off and you go bing bong, I don't know. And then you Google it. And after a while, some random commenter says that you should go to this village instead. It's not, it's not called Reims. It's, I, I be, you be, I don't know how you have to draw the map to draw, draw that into Provence, but I don't think that's enough to be in Provence. So, you have to, we have to go to this village. That's neither called Reims, or, although, actually, what we can do, I'll be, I'll be, I'll be, I'll be, I'll be. What I think is the most important part of the thing might be, let's see, who actually owns this village. Actually, it's not one of ours. It's England, isn't it? Which makes the whole thing stranger. Albi. Albi, Albi, Albi. It might be actually, actually easier. There we go. Albi. Prosperity. No one owns it. Even worse, I was hoping that hmm, I could find, you know, since they take places back and forth all the time, uh, I guess the original owner of Albi has been pushed out, but otherwise you could probably find that, you know, his quest, his crest, not quest, looks the sim, uh, looks like this. But, you know, going through all of these bloody uh, crests of all the French lords it's gonna take quite a while it's gonna be annoying because you have to go through all of these people or no that not that wasn't the people all of these people all of these and you have to go oh he's got a rooster or oh that's a village this guy's got two lions he's got two lions got crap that's another village oh that's the <laughs> that's the same guy this guy's got the Finnish lion with two Jew stars and he's kind of oh I'm gonna star in a movie with Vin Diesel right so we make our way over to Albin because pff, I somehow figured that out just by looking at the thing no one owns the bloody thing and right here you should go talk with the village elder however it doesn't work if you click on this you have to ride into the village and talk with him right off the bat, bat the trees creak like crazy it might be ants a bit of fog here around the well significant because you know, and then huge cabbages. Silly peasants. But more importantly, there's a bloody castle behind the village. Hmm, strange tidings. Let's see if we can't find that. Uh, there he is. Hey there, monkey peddler. Good, sir. And then you can see I'm interested in history. Usually, I don't think you ask the village elder uh, that question. Uh, I'm interested in history. I like the fact that this part is actually English, so I don't have to translate it from bloody French. I'm interested in the story of this town. Can you? Uh, can I ask you a few questions? Really? I can help you. I guess this castle uh, is the castle interesting you. Tell me, do you know an old lord? The no, the l old lord of this village. His coat of arms has a lion holding a halberd sitting on a throne. 
it may be that in excessive creaking is it may be Godfrey de Villiers didn't have offspring when he died in the Crusades or Antwerp. The king must have been given the land to a new lord. I didn't see what more there is to say. Right. Would you know anything about his friends and enemies? What kind of stuff? That kind of stuff? Absolutely nothing! And I can do nothing more for you! No wait, he says actually, can I do anything more for you? I don't know why I interpret that as being hostile. I'd like to take a look at the old castle, if I do may say so myself. It's forbidden to enter! But it's really important to you, I can make a request to the Lord for permission. Or not! I'm sorry. There must be another way. Maybe if you agree to pick up a purse I just dropped inadvertently and kept this content and open the door just after that. Hmm? And this purse wouldn't contain exactly how much? Greedy bastard, let's give him a hundred. It's okay, I'll open the door discreetly. You are solely responsible for what happens to you on the other side of the wall. So do not come complaining when you get killed. I mean, um, yes, I understand. Just open the bloody door. Way, the excessive creaking is gone. Oh. Right. Uh, I wanted to... Let's see. Should I do this first? Yeah, that's how I do it. I do like how the armor looks on this guy. Right. But no fiddling about. We're supposed to go in the castle. Even the... Even though the music is not actually from the mod, I feel as though it might be necessary for me to draw my sword. Right. No one's been here in quite a while. Let's actually check this out. Ho! Oh! Anyone in here? Nope. Right, we got a door. Ooh, look at that. Clues! Someone's made a campfire there. Yes, there we have it. Although that's a pretty scrappy looking thing. Can I get in inside here? Let me in! Nope. I wish I could cut it away. Oh, here's the second door. Let's see if we can't get through here. Oh! Oh! Ah! Oh. Ha-ha! I mean. Right. Someone died over here. This feels like... I hope people can see this because this is rather dark. Except for this bridge is somehow enlightened by spotlights. Oh. oh, I need to answer quest I need to answer questions three. Hmm. What is your quest? I seek the treasure of the Templar Knights. What is your no, what is your name is the first one I think. What is your name? It's wait, what's it called? Leon something something Frenchy Frenchy French. And then the last one. What's your favorite color? Er, uh, blue. Correct. You may pass. Ooh, we don't want to fall down there. Right. Oh, we're gonna go in there. You know what? Probably take this one. It's probably better. I should have brought some stuff so I can light my way. Ah, great. Ah, there's loads of tunnels. Uh, Ooh, let's do it off. Kinky Lana. Go this way. Mm. Mm. 
do, 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 do. I th oh yeah, this is a dead end. Caved in. It's really hard to sort of see anything because it's all sort of dark. I hope to god it's not like some scary animal or something like if some modded creature thing turns up. It sort of helps actually to put it up like this because it sort of gives you a way of seeing... Um... Ah! Chest! Perfect. Initiation to the French masonry. Read document menu. Oh, great! Oh wait, did I have... Hmm. Fried eggs. Good stuff. Right. You know what? I think I'm s just skedaddle out of here. This place is scary! There might be a murderous rabbit somewhere around here. And I do not carry the holy hand grenade of Antioch. So I'll make my way out of this place as soon, fast as I can. We are leaving. Oh, was that an actual sound? You know what? Sort of. Oh, you know what? Maybe Gandalf is down there. He fell. He c comes fa falling through. <laughs> Gandalf! Run, you fool! Right, so I got the book. Now it's just about skedaddling out and reading it. Dun, dun, whoa, wait a minute. Black Knight has turned up. Oh, there's two of them as well. Someone made a... Th that's what I said earlier. Someone made a fire recently. You know what? These guys cannot have the best of intentions. I'll draw my sword just to be safe. Hello there, Freemason disciple. Jacques, tender penny capitalo. Gosh, has a salute. You want to meet the same fate as your ally? I can tell you someone needs to teach you masons how to fight. Right. Let's read this thing. Read document. The French... A page draws your attention. Of course, it's easy for a novice to open the secret lodge at the Benedict Abbey at Michy in Orléans. While this is purely inaccessible to the uninitiated. It is the knowledge of ours that comes into its own. Simply place your left hand on the knee and the right hand on the lion's... on the armed lion. And you open the box. Right. We're back up to Orléans. Wait, that's... I took one too many spins there. Now we're all dizzy. Back to Orléans! Last one there gets to eat rotten supplies. Rotten food. This is the best castle I ever not worked in. Captain, I am insulted by Gaul, Gale, who belittles me for my faith and my belief in chivalry. He calls me Neve for the fact that I hold a foe as a friend after the battle, even if he wronged me before. It's only the way that I would like to treat myself, so I do so unto others as well. Golden rule, always a good one to stick by. He also tells me I fight like a tourney knight, tournament, uh, tournament knight, but I'm not sure if that is a slight. Please tell him to cease insulting me. 
Uh, yeah, stop fighting with each other. I'm not sure who I should support in this case. Who was it that I actually talked with? I think that one was one that's been part of my uh, retinue of uh, uh, scallywanks. Scallywanks, that's a great word. Since uh, day one. Ah, the Badanka Dogs of uh, Orleans. There's nothing that goes up against a French Badanka Dunk in the city of Orleans. Ooh. Right. Now I just need him to touch the lion and the my knee, or uh, touch the knee and the lion, or yeah, somewhere around there. Hello there, brother. Let me in. Right. Let's touch this. Let's touch the crap out of this wall. So we touch his knee and we touch it's something. Touchy, touchy, touch. Right, touchy, touch, touch. Maybe I have to. Right, dun, 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 dun. Give me the treasure. Ah, you know what? He's standing over there, though. But if I'm... You know, let, let's talk with him. Maybe he's got some new information. In Colville, Shabalaw! Connor Juju! Um. I think we need him out of the room somehow. Let's talk with Padre outside. Oh, I ended up all the way here. I have to run. Well, it could be worse having to run through the Badanka Dunk of Orleans. Badanka Dunks. I've said that so much it becomes even more ridiculous. Right, you know, you know what? When I'm looking up here into the blazing sun, the easiest way to get him out is like coming back at night depending on if they actually let us in again he doesn't really have um, any other options there like hey you want to take your brother up for a stroll you know what I think that's the easiest thing to start with so we we come back at midnight and hope that he has gone to bed La right, late night. We're sneaking around. I say sneak around. Um, I have similar sort of plate, and it squeaks and it rattles when you walk around with it. So sneaking is, especially running like this. Da, 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 da. Test out my new French medieval diet and then the exercise by running in armor. It's world renowned. Let me go in. Right. Ha! He's gone to bed. Right. Time to fuck this thing up. Ooh! Perfect. How do I. Hoi Oh! Not really fitting music for going in dark chambers. Right, let's make up. You know what? We might run into something. Mm. 
not really fitting at all. Ah, lights. Let's see. Aha! Disciples of the Freemasons. Hello there! Oh, kill them all. Yes, yes. Oh, these Freemasons. Right. Come on, give me gold. No, give me another bloody book. Right. Now let's get out of here. The music is kind of fitting now since I just comically punched them down. Everything's going pretty smooth. Now we need to make our way back out and read it. And then make our way to hopefully the treasure but most likely another bloody clue I hope the treasure is worth it because it took me a w long time to figure out the French wording of that uh, notes the secret lodge you read the book oh yeah I need to read the book that's why Redocument the secret French. A page draws your attention. The most important is that the ruin, ruin, and we know why it's so well guarded. It's the entrance. The entrance is hidden in the old cemetery. Of course, we take every precaution. This place will never be destroyed or even transformed. Right. Ruin, isn't that? It's pretty darn close, actually. Boom. It's English hands, though. Oh, we'd war with England. Currently. We'll notice if that guy starts chasing us. Or maybe he just missed us. Right. Over the bridge. Into the town. And it has an old cemetery. Right. So there's maybe a crypt here. Ah, oh, yes, there is a crypt. Right, I think we can just walk through this. Yep. And we're in. I think it's best to have this one. It's it was pretty useful on that when I knocked down the other two bastards. And around the corner, there's nothing. So let's go towards the light. Aha! Master Freemason. Let's see if you're any better at fighting. Surrender or die! Well, sir. Do no such thing. Oh, you know what? I didn't actually take a close look, but there you see the Freemason order. Illuminati confirmed, to say the least. Right, where did you put the clue, you silly little bastards? Ah, there we have it. No. Uh, through the door, maybe? Ah, here we go. Oh, there we go. <gasps> Look at that. Treasure. A ruby. Amherst. Two of them. Emerald. Golden ring. Another ring. Masonic sword. 35-32. It's got better weapon reach. It's got a little low speed. And it's got... The swing is a bit... Is not as good. And the thrust is not as good as either. But it's got the reach. It's got longer reach. It's got quite a bit longer reach. It's got 16 points extra. Right, can I go out here? Can I? Nope, cannot leave now. I have to walk out again. 
when these guys wake up. Or when I say wake up, I took a bloody... Uh, what's it called? It's pretty <laughs> bloody. Imagine get, he just had a bit of chain mail on his head. Getting this thing smacked in your face twice. It's gonna leave a mark. Right, let's see. Yes, I completed it. Now it's all about denouncing that lord. We need to find him. We go back into French territory. We can actually go to Orléans. And then we can ask where he is. And then we can denounce him for uh, Joan of Arc. Uh, actually, we can see about selling the goods. Ooh, 2,000. Let's see, how much am I going to get for this? I'm not going to get that much, actually. We've got 1,000 there. Maybe an extra 1,000 there. 3,000? Possibly. I need better trade points to sell these. Because this is going to give me like 3,000. Uh, that's nothing. That's not going to... That's not gonna... Not when my weekly cost is... Oh wait, do I have prisoners with me? I did not notice. We'll have to sell them as well. Right, anyone who wants to buy some prisoners? No, there's no one. Right. Wait, what was the mason order sword worth? I guess a lot more than a hundred. You know what, we can sell these piece of documents. Rotten pork. Right. Uh, let's see. Actually, looking at the time here, I think I'm a, I should end it here. Looking at the time. So yeah, we did the. We found out the treasure. It wasn't really. I would have probably liked it to be a bit more stuff that I could sell. We really need more trade. Do we have anyone that has trade? I don't think so. And I don't have... I have one point in trade. We need more trade, really. Anyways, I think we'll end it here. So hopefully you enjoyed this episode. And hopefully I'll see you for the next one. Bye!